All right, guys, our next guest is Cade Ellis from the Penrith Panthers. Cade, how are you this evening? Good, mate. Thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Good to have you on, mate. Um, first question, how was the trial game? How's the body feeling after the first hit out? Um, yeah, it's feeling good. Um, you know, obviously, we've been training for 13 weeks now and, you know, pretty prepared for, for what we went ahead last night. Um, you know, obviously, as a team point of view, it was a positive to, to get a win. That's what we spoke about um, you know, it's a troll, regardless who plays. Um, you know, we wanted to compete and we wanted to win, um, nonetheless. Uh, but other than that, was a good result uh, yeah. for, us, for our first troll. Absolutely. It was certainly a good um, good result there. Spoiling John Sutton's testimonial match now. Uh, one thing we'll touch on, the, the wet weather. It was terrible conditions for footy there. Did that sort of change the style of play you guys were looking to implement? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, over the pre-season, we, um, you know, we... we Done a lot of training, you know, in cycles, getting teams in cycles. And, you know, the, the wet weather um, played a big part in that, you know, water drop ball, a lot of stoppage. Mm. Um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't as fast as, as you know, your average NRL you know, game. Um, so that probably affected us a little bit. You know, you weren't as fatigued and um, put under pressure as much. But, um, you know, other than that, I thought didn't have too many bad errors. Um, but, you know, it was a good result regardless of, of the weather. I was pretty happy. Yeah, certainly a great result for the club. What was the biggest takeaway you guys sort of spoke about afterwards as a club? Um, it's probably more, you know, defensively. You know, obviously we don't concede eight points, but uh, seeing all the errors in, you know, wrestling and stuff like that, that sort of let us down. You know, the ruck was a bit quick um, early on. That first 20, and obviously that last year, that's where we were in Paul, you know, our first 20 minutes were, were Paul, and that's where we um, we thought we sort of let ourselves down in and, yesterday and that's something to work work on going forward yeah absolutely and for yourself personally what was your biggest take out of your first hit out of the year um you know, i was just sort of happy to get out some you know quality minutes you know, i got 40 minutes mm. um pretty quality cool. you know the first 20 was probably um a bit harder than, than the last 20 because you know there's a lot of stoppage and you know a bit tired and a lot slower but you know, i was happy just to get through and you know a bit of confidence um you know a bit of fitness and um, game fitness for moving forward to ready for round one yeah, absolutely. And we did touch on it. It was a very great result for you guys, obviously thrashing the bunnies. But was there anything you guys spoke about in the sheds, any areas you felt you needed to improve after that game? Um, no, I didn't talk too much, actually. Um, you know, everyone was pretty happy with, with, the, with the result. Yep. Um, you know, you can probably more leave it for Monday review and, you know, have a couple of hours where you really, you know, go into major details. But overall, it was, um, you know, I was pretty happy. Um, you know, with the, with the result and, you know, how we competed and everything like that. So probably more to touch on it tomorrow at training. Yep. And for yourself personally, was there anything you felt you weren't able to implement? Anything you wish you could have improved on? Um, you know, coming back into the, the D stuff, you know, a lot of that, that the rock control and um, mm. stuff like, you know, across the, across the park, you know, everyone was probably not as efficient as what they could have been. And that probably comes down to the wet weather as well, you know, um, Slipping off players and stuff like that. So that's where I was, uh, you know, I pride myself on my defence and, and wrestle. And, you know, it was a bit harder to do yesterday. So moving forward, you know, that's where I try and build my game off my defence. So um, that'd be something I'd take away to work on for next week. Yeah, absolutely. The worst conditions didn't help anyone there. What has the pre season focus been under Ivan for his second stint at the club? Yeah, obviously, obviously you know, last year, and it's nice that, you know, everyone knows we, our, our first 20 minutes of. Um, most games, you know, we weren't pretty much weren't there. Um, so I had a big focus on our on the starting fast and you know playing fast, top tempo football, and um, obviously competing every game and trying to get the win. So a lot of it's been you know a lot of not the traditional preseason where you just run a lap. It's more you know your games where you're competing um, against one another, the like high speed uh, meters per minute kind of thing, sort of sort of bring that into our footy. You know, so when it comes around, one hopefully. We're not, um, you know, we're not starting in the 20-minute mark. You know, we're starting from the get-go. Um, so that's probably made, been the main focus um, throughout the whole preseason. No doubt. You touched on the first 20 minutes there, and there was certainly a time in the season where the Panthers were known as the comeback kings. Now, what about yourself personally? Have you changed anything? You, have you changed any of your approach under a new coach heading into the 2019 season? Yeah, well, that's well, a hard thing, you know, when new coach comes, they bring, you know, new staff, so you got to impress again and you got to have, you know, a bit of fear that whether they, you know, whether they, they like you or the style of player that, you know, they want. Um, but I haven't changed too much for some of the sort of just sort of 
you know, pride myself on my defence and you know, Ivan's big on, on defence and um whatnot and the attack looks after itself so I was more you yeah, know, trying to impress with my defence and wrestle. Absolutely. Now, let's just uh, briefly touch on, you had a lot of success before making your NRL debut. So, 2017, uh, your team won the New South Wales Cup, and you go on to get Man of the Match in the State Challenge. I uh, can only imagine that was a great fortnight of your life. Um, 2018, you're then announced captain of your ISP side. You re-sign with the Panthers for two years, but most importantly, you make that elusive NRL debut. Did you notice a difference stepping up to the top-tier level of football? Yeah, absolutely. You know, obviously, you know, this Wales Cup, um, you know, it's a big step from, from that. That's probably why you don't see a lot of players, you know, transition from that grade to NRL. But, um, you know, obviously, definitely the speed of the game um, was very noticeable. You know, whereas in, generally in this Wales Cup, you're pretty match fit. And then when you step up in there, you're, you're blowing pretty quickly. Um, you know, it's a lot, it moves a lot quicker, you know, it plays a lot faster. Um, that's probably the biggest. Um, Biggest change, you know, it's like a bit of a shock when you first um, get a crack. Absolutely. And what about your goals for 2019? What are you hoping you can sit down this time next year and say, "I'm proud of myself for accomplishing that"? What do you? What have you set out as your main goals for this season? Yeah, that's my main goal. You know, as of 2019, um, you know, I've spoke to Ivan and, and sort of, you know, said that I want to be in the 17 round one. That was my goal. Um, obviously, if not, I'm. You know, I was pretty disappointed, but you know, 26 rounds, long season, and um, but yeah, that's my main goal moving forward. I want to be hopefully be in the 17 um, round one. You know, it's a hard 21 to make, so um, I was pretty stoked if I if I get picked in the 17. Absolutely, mate. I think you're a um, very good chance to land there. Really impressed with your footy. One of the brightest young forwards coming through the game. Cade, thank you very much for coming on. No drama, mate. Thanks for having me. Cheers, Cade.